devastated loved ones clung desperately to the hope that someone might have survived the crash. I'm trying to accept this and I'm relieved that the plane has been found. I still hope that my brother can survive the accident. The remains of the Russian Sukhoi superjet visible through a dense canopy of trees. Tackling the mountainous forested terrain, search teams said it would take six hours to reach the site of the crash. Bad weather made things even more difficult. Indonesian television showed footage of the jet taking off before the accident, its final demonstration flight. The Superjet 100 was on a fanfare tour of Asia, touting for orders of the first all-new passenger jet since the fall of the Soviet Union. It was debuted a year ago on Russian TV news. Alexandria Blontsev, the pilot who's thought to have died in this crash, gave an interview praising the plane's technical abilities. It was supposed to show the world that Russia is at the cutting edge of global aviation. These images suggest otherwise. Sky News recently gained rare access into one of the country's biggest aircraft factories, Aviacor. Soviet-built planes like these were involved in eight fatal crashes last year, resulting in 136 deaths. The Indonesian president has called for an immediate investigation into what went wrong with the plane that was carrying businessmen, pilots, technicians and journalists. The ambition to sell 800 superjets before 2029 is likely to be hampered by this latest tragedy, which will only compound the dark cloud that continues to hang over Russian aviation. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Moscow.